Hello everyone. What if we go here? Here? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, some modding. How to install some mods. Uh, it's going to be change Noctis hair, eyes, shirt, outfit color. Because uh, that's been updated. The white hair is more white. And he has some red eyes. And he changed some outfits. Um, and some shirts as well. And I'm also going to be using... Prince's Fatigue Color Pack, which um, it just has a variety of colors that are different. What you're going to need are Seven Zip, as well as the Special K Mod, which um, everything will have a link in the description below. Um, special K Mod uh, fixes some stuff, and it gives you the ability to um, throw some skins in there. Basically, it's pretty easy to install. You just you download the file, and then you literally bring everything over to the directory, the Final Fantasy 15 directory. So that's that's as easy as it gets. To find that directory, you just want to basically find where all the game's files are. Um, for me, it's Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Final Fantasy 15. This is where you're gonna do all your work. So once you have installed Special K, just run the game real quick. Like literally a second and make sure that message up top appears because that means that the special K mod is working and it also adds a file onto the directory which I'm going to show you what to do with so from the directory you find dxgi.ini and then on this screen here you're going to type or you're going to hit control F at the same time to activate the find and then you're going to type inject and you're going to hit enter Exit that out and then scroll down a little bit to where it's highlighted. And now you're going to change two things you're going to change inject to true as well as cache to true. And this will allow you to put like custom injections in basically. So from here, we can now begin the process of getting our directory ready for mods. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to start a new folder and you're going to type what I type on the screen there and type that in you can double click that and then type that and then once again double click and then type that don't type that that's wrong type that instead and then double click once more and type that and that's where you're going to put all your mods in and just to clarify that's how it looks up there now getting closer to the final piece just open up those files you downloaded with 7-zip it should look like that as well as the other one that I have over here I'm gonna split them up so I can uh, get what I want right when I'm ready um, from here we're gonna go back to the directory once at the directory you just want to click on the files that we made once you're here you just want to Go to your 7-zip file that you opened. I'm going to start with the uh, outfit first. I um, just wanted to move that over a little bit so you can drop it in. So I'm going to go with the... Uh, there's a bunch of different outfits you can pick. But I'm going to go with the red and black. Um, and there's a picture. There's a picture right there. So you can see. That's what it's going to look like. And you just want to take that file. And drop it in. You see that? So now we're going to get the other file. Um, we're going to change two things, the hair and the eyes. So I'm going to click on that. Click on that. And then go for the eyes. Drop that right in there. And then come back. Go to the hair. Click that and then drop it right in. Now you're ready for the final pieces. Just um, start up the game, load your file, and then we're going to shoot right in. It's going to take a couple seconds, and then bam! There you go. Custom outfit. And do we have custom eyes? Yeah, hopefully, you can get a good zoom on that, but yes, we do. Right there. That's all for now, but uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Leave a like if you want, whatever.
Have a good day.